Namaste. My name is Ashley Albrand. Uh, this is an episode of Terra Flow. We're here in Venice, California, and I'd like to show you Vashistasana forearm variation. This posture is amazing for building upper body strength and wrist strength. Sometimes we get a little bit of congestion in our wrists, a lot of typing, a lot of driving. This posture will not only heal and bring blood flow and prana to your wrist, but you can also build a strong core, abdominals, back, shoulders, and forearms. So enjoy. So when you're ready, go ahead and come forward onto your hands and knees. Feel your belly. Take a few deep breaths into your belly and let it rise in your chest. We're just using the movement of our breath like a wheel of energy. Inhale, open your belly. Open your sternum. And as you exhale, sort of plug into your center. I like to feel the top ribs and the top hips contracting towards one another. Feel that strong, straight Danda position in your stomach. Come down onto your forearms and set your wrists up directly in front of your elbows. I like to really focus on bringing the inner wrist down into the earth. First finger and thumb flat. Breathe in and as you exhale, step your legs way back to plank. Find the head of your pubic bone in your mind. Take a deep breath. Belly is opening and chest is opening. As you exhale, tuck your tailbone powerfully and roll your inner thighs to the sky. Slow motion, turn onto the outer edge of your right foot, lift your waist, and bring your left fingertips down just in front of your right elbow. From here, try plugging your right shoulder head down your back more than you think. It's a pretty strong feeling rooting the scapula into position. If you can go on, great to stay here, you can go on keeping your right hand flat. Stack your left foot directly on top of your right. Focus with your breath. You might feel like you can lift your left hand onto your left hip. Keep rolling your left hip forward and tucking your tailbone. Once you feel really strong and connected to your center, add your left arm to the pose and open up your chest. So it feels like you're sending your heart towards the sky. Exhale and release after a few breaths there. Rest in Sphinx in between poses. Sphinx pose happens, I like to drop my shoulders a little bit slide my two hands towards my body and reveal the front of the heart by moving the back ribs into the chest. Inner thighs roll up, firm our legs and release our tush. Let's offer a few slow steady breaths that fill up, receive each breath into your heart. When you're done, exhale and slowly come down. It's a nice practice to move slowly back into Balasana, resting and feeling any heat or vibration you might have created in your right channel. We'll go ahead and do the second side as you're ready. I'll turn around so you can see the front, the front chest. I want you to focus more on this side, moving the right hip towards the bottom left inner thigh. So feeling that full right hip roll forward. Okay, come forward onto your forearms and step back into the Danda. Drop your hips a little and send your two collarbones forward. Strong pull, tailbone to the heels. Breath in, followed by breath out. Sideways exhaling into your body. Take it slow, roll to your heels, lift your waist, and bring your right fingertips in front of your left elbow. Right hip rolls forward. You can stay like this and breathe, building strength to this shape. If it feels all right for you, take your right foot on top of your left, press your left shoulder down your back, and roll your top hip forward. Keeping your left inner wrist pressing down, consider reaching your right arm up. Your inner thighs roll towards one another. Breath is rich and full. You can look down, side, or up. 
Exhale and lower back to your forearms. Either take Sphinx again or consider walking your feet in Bhuja Svanasana, sending the heart back. Inner hand presses to the yoga mat. Relax your neck. Feel a gentle lift of your ribs into your body. You can always bend your knees in this position. And when you're through, bring your knees back down. Let's take our arms back alongside our body. So bring your nervous system back to neutral. A few full breaths, breathing into your upper back, right behind your heart. Slowly roll up and bow to yourself. My name is Ashley Albrand. Thanks so much. Namaste.